Hey guys, welcome back to the test server, and we are here on War Robots. And Pixonix wants us to test the new robot, Orochi, that we have tested about a week ago. And we are going to be testing out drones. Alright. So, when we go down here, we have drones, which are going to be accompany accompanying us in the battle. We will see that later on we have here the eye drone then we have the wasp the sharpshooter the good guy drone and the eye drone as well so we have two eye drones the wasp the sharpshooter and the good guy drone all right now on the top here where you see where the two slots are empty we can select a drone from the workshop we click on here, we can either go here into the, in here, or we can go into the shop here and we can uh, select a drone that we can buy for 50 silver, that is the starter drone. We can buy the sidekick drone here for 500 silver, the defender drone for 5 million silver. Yeah, we don't have 5 million, we only have 1,300,000. The fly drone for 5 million. Uh, the sharpshooter, we already have that drone, that will cost me 2,400 gold. Good guy drone, 2,400. The eye drone, 6,000 gold. And the wasp, also 6,000 gold. But we are gonna leave those two spots empty for now. Now you can add chips, microchips to these drones. So we are gonna go into the eye drone here. You see one, two, three, four different types of microchip slots where we can put in microchips. Now, the drone ability momentarily is 22% damage. Now, these uh, microchip slots, they have different different types of icons on them. The first one here, it has a, a star on it. That is for the, the weapon type. On top here, on the left-hand side, we have the A-type effect that has a two half circles. The bottom one has two half circles as well here. That is the A-type effect. And we have the B-type effect as well, which has two half triangles on them. All right, so we, and if we tip up here, we can go into the information of the drone. Uh, the modulative intensifier, we can add that chip on there. It has one energy uh, firing effect, uh, one type weapon control type, the A effect, and one B effect. It has here two B effect slots for the microchips. All right, so that's that here, the first one. We can add in the targeting, target-seeking minigun shooter, the imitating rifle shooter, or the imitating rocket shooter. And we can also combine the microchips as well. <coughs> or we can go up here into in the shop, we can either buy the imitating rocket shooter, the target seeking cannon shooter, or the target seeking minigun shooter, or we can uh, update our microchips here for one gold, which will give us different types of microchips here. Alright, let's see what type of microchips they are giving us here. 
the suppressor, which means uh, that drone can suppress other people. The control resistor, what does that do? It's a E type socket, 60% effect accumulation, and it's active permanent. Then we have here the freezer chip, the asset sprayer. I have now I have this drone on my own battle rig account and I have this asset sprayer chip built in. Now this chip can do a damage per second of 110 with the asset here. And it's active permanent as well. Then we have here the defense mitigator. See what that does? Yeah, it's a defense chip, 120% defense for yourself and for other robots that are in currently near you. And it's active permanent as well. So we have different types of microchips that we can choose from here. Let's see what we have here in the B type effect. We have the unimpeded intensifier here. What does that microchip do? Extra damage, 35% extra damage to other robots when you fire at them. The revitalizing intensifier chip, 35% extra damage and 7 seconds of accumulation on the damage to other robots and it's also active throughout the battle modulative intensifier here that is a b-type socket 18 percent more damage to other robots and it has a seven second uh, accumulation effect to other robots so Okay, let's uh, check out the other drone here, the WASP. Now we can add chips to all these drones here to help our robot further in the, bat in the battle there. So we can do more damage to other people. Target seeking minigun shooter. This one has the imitating rifle shooter and the imitating rocket shooter. And we can go into the shop here. And buy them as well. Uh, this one has the suppressor, which means you can uh, suppress people. The control resistor microchip here, sixty percent effective accumulation, and it is active permanent. It has the freezer chip here. Now the freezer chip does. 0 0.6 effect accumulation per shot uh, minus 40 percent of the of the speed is going to be reducted or uh, yeah reduced to other robots when you hit them with their when you hit them with your weapons when you have the, the freezer chip built into your drone it reduces their speed of 40 percent and it gives 20% uh, more damage to your to your enemies as well. But that is what the freezer chip does. The asset sprayer, I think we already went over that. Then we have here the defense mitigator chip. as an A-type socket. 120% uh, protection for you and your your allies here and it is active permanent then we have here the sharpshooter let's see what type of microchips this guy has the drone durability there is 25% the first one here we have the target seeking minigun shooter uh, it does 720 damage it has a range of 500 meters and a reload time of six or ten seconds and it's active permanent as well in 
imitating a rifle shooter. That one has f a damage of 4200, 800 meter range, 10 second reload time, and it's active permanent. Imitating rocket shooter. Uh, that's what I didn't want to do. Imitating rocket shooter here. 780 damage it does. Only um, a range of 350 meters and 8 second reload time. Alright. Now I don't know why Pixonic put in drones here for 5 million silver. Because we won't be able to buy them because we have only 1,300,000. They're the ones we have already, we don't need them anymore. I would have liked to uh, the buy the, the fly drone here, but like I said, that will cost 500 million and we don't have that type of silver. 5 million here. The sidekick drone, we have the starter drone. I might buy the sidekick drone there later on, but the drones that we have here already, those are pretty damn good to me. So we are gonna build the first drone here. We're gonna go into this socket here and see what we can put in here. We have three microchips that are for free. These are in our in our silo here. In our storage, I mean storage. We have here the target seeking minigun shooter. <coughs> what is wrong? We have here the imitating Rifle shooter, the tar target seeking minigun shooter, and or the imitating rocket shooter here. Alright. Let's see what happens if we update our microchips for one. Uh, nothing happened there. We didn't update any of our chips here. So we are going to put in one of these for free. Target seeking minigun shooter. Let's see the damage on that. 720, 500 meter range. Imitating rifle shooter. 4200 damage. 800 meter range. 10 second reload time. Permanent active here. And we are going to put in the imitating rifle shooter here. We have 4200 damage and that is a weapon type. A weapon type, yes. Alright, so let's check out the A-type effect here for this drone. Now we can swap those microchips around. We can put in either a suppressor chip here which uh, suppresses other robots. 0.6% here is the the suppressor effect or the accumulation per shot. And it takes away 75% of the firing power of other enemy robots. Then we have here the control resistor. Uh, minus 60% effect accumulation. It's uh, active permanent. The freezer here, uh, 0 0.6 effect accumulation per shot, and it takes away 40% of the the speed, the walking speed of other robots, and it does 20% more damage. Here, what is going on with this? All right, acid sprayer, 110. Uh, Damage per second here, it's active permanent. Then we have the defense mitigator, which does 120% here protection all around. Uh, what else do we have here in the shop? Control resistor, acid per suppressor. We already have them in here. We can also combine it. Combine, uh, Combine microchips as well, but we're not going to do that at the moment. We're gonna, we're gonna stay with these uh, microchips here. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put in here the freezer drone. 
That is what we're going to test out. That is what I also have on my own battle rig account. Now we are going to put in our next one, it type effect. We have the control resistor, suppressor, acid sprayer, and the defense mitigator. Uh, what are we going to do? Control resistor, effect accumulation, minus 60%, suppressor. We can suppress people here and take away 75% of their damage. Uh, acid sprayer. Do we have the acid sprayer in there already? What was that? No, we don't. What was that? That was the freezer. We can put in the acid sprayer. Yeah, we're going to put in the acid sprayer for now. And the last one here, the triangular. Here, it inciting intensifier. What does that do? 35% more damage uh, towards other robots here the unimpeded intensifier what does that do the same modulative intensifier yeah that is a, P a B type socket 18% towards uh, other robots yeah and a 7 second here Revitalizing intensifier. Yeah, so we are gonna put in the unimpeded or the modulative intensifier for now. All right. So that is what the drone looks like with the chips inside. But of course, we are gonna be building robots as well. We're gonna go into the robot section here. We're gonna. We are gonna leave that set up what we have for now and uh yeah i'm gonna try and do a, a, a battle here or maybe not because the batteries on my uh, fly digi controller are out i'm gonna have to charge that up first so once my fly digi controller is charged back up then we are gonna do a battle guys so stay tuned for that and I hope you have liked this video guys. Let me know what you guys think of the drones here. Now drones have been in the game for over a year now. For the people that are playing on Steam. Maybe and iOS and Android. I don't know why Pixonic are putting drones out now since they're a year and a half or so old. So anyway. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.